did the Owens family help you to get a handle on portraying Jesse Owens? They were great. They're great. Um, you know, Jesse's daughters are, you know, they've been instrumental in basically the whole filmmaking process, really. And um, they were great in telling me just about, you know, who their dad was. You know, to them, Jesse Owens is daddy. You know, to the rest of the world, he's this big uh, hero and this big athlete. So uh, it was just interesting to hear from their perspective about, you know, the type of uh, father he was and just the type of man he was in general. Was this an intimidating role for you to take on? No. <laughs> absolutely, it absolutely was. I mean, he's he's a guy that's he's larger than life. You know, um, you know, he's a guy that so many people look up to and so many people hold in such a high regard. So um, there's you know there's a little bit of pressure there when you're you know you're trying to make sure that you do him justice, you do his family justice, um, and then all the people who care so much about him and his legacy. You know, to make sure that um, I'm doing that justice too. So uh, there's a lot that goes into it. I was just speaking with the director, and he said you were one of the first people that he met with yeah. to play this role, and he was like, he can't possibly be the guy, he's the first one, yeah. but you were the guy. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? Great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't tell you. I'm speechless every time I, you know, I have to remind myself that I, I really did that. You know, I really had the opportunity to play him, and, and uh, you know, even looking at the posters and, and stuff like that, it's still hard to, <laughs> hard to believe that. Um, you know, the story landed in my lap almost 80 years later, um, but I'm grateful that it has. A little surreal, huh? Yeah. Um, you're an athlete yourself? Yeah. Um, how did you train differently to portray Jesse? What did you do different? It's different. I mean, it's different. Track's, track's a different beast. <laughs> it's a different, different beast. I grew up on basketball, volleyball, football, um, you know, so I wasn't unfamiliar with, you know, running and, and stuff like that, but uh, being a track athlete um, is one thing, but you know, being a track athlete in 1936 is a whole nother thing. You know, they didn't have uh, the benefit of, you know, the type of shoes we have and the type of training that we have today. Um, and they were, you know, running on dirt back then. Uh, and now they're running on turf. So there was a lot of just time period differences that I had to work with. Mm -hmm. um, but then I had to make sure I was being accurate to Jesse as well. So. Uh, yeah, definitely a lot of lot of layers. So when you trained, were you training doing hundred meter dashes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was definitely training, doing the whole thing. It didn't start, you know, <laughs> like that right away. Uh, a lot of conditioning at first. Two months beforehand, I just uh, I was swimming in Atlanta, and uh, basically every off day I had, um, you know, on on my other film, I was working on race. Um, you know, training to be Jesse Owens for race. So. Uh, you know, started with mostly conditioning and making sure I was able to prep myself to, to do the three months of running that I was going to have to, mm -hmm. you know, do. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it was definitely, definitely a lot, a lot of stuff. But what was your fastest time? Early. Uh, I think I did the 100 in just over 12 seconds, if I can remember correctly. Got right. faster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's amazing how fast your heart beats after that, right? I know, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> um, what, what do you believe that people today can learn from Jesse Owens and what he did? I think that people can feel inspired uh, by Jesse's winnings in 1936 um, and just the way he lived his life in general. Uh, you know, you look at this story and you look at what Jesse was able to accomplish uh, at a time where, you know, it was sort of inconceivable um, for him to do what he did. And, um, you know, I don't really think he had any real intention or purpose for why he went over to Berlin. but. Uh, to go over there and to do what he did and to have the effect on the sport and the world, uh, you know, in which he did is, is something that's incredible. And it's obviously why we're sitting here today. So uh, I just hope people can feel inspired by it.